Ooh, this gonna be a sh show. What's up, guys? This is your boy Russian, and if you have been following the channel, this is going to be a lot different. All right, so if you guys just want to hear what's going on on Cyberpunk 2077, skip to this time right below, but that's going to make you a real bad person. All right, guys, so let's just address the few elephants in the room. So, number one, Yes, I am that ugly. Number two, this is not because I'm part of some weird fight club. I have it LIGO, okay? Deal with it. Number three, I am a war veteran. I spent my time in Iraq and I got destroyed because of uh, behavior health. That's what the army likes to call mental health issues and physical issues, okay? That's fine. I'm good with that. Also, that's why the, the channel is called Broke Not Dead, is because if you have any type of issues in the military, people are going to say that you're a broken soldier. And the one time someone called me broken, I put the guy on the wall and said, I'm broken, not dead. And you know what? I thought that would be a great name for a channel. All right, and number four. No, I am not Hispanic. Also, I'm not considered Caucasian, okay? So, I am Latino Caucasian, but I'm not Hispanic. So, the truth is, I'm kind of like the minor minority in the United States and probably in the world, besides a couple of countries. So, by the way, you know, the way the hive mind and the whole world is, if you guys don't subscribe to the channel, you're really bad people. No, no, I'm just kidding, guys. Don't subscribe to the channel because I'm saying that, okay? Subscribe to the channel if you guys actually enjoy the things I say and the plans I have to where to bring the channel, all right? Don't do because someone's like, uh, just like movies nowadays, when people go, hey, if you don't like my movie, you're a misogynistic person. You're a real bad person. No, no. Don't freaking do that. Not with me. Do with anybody else. I don't care. Not in this channel. So, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, I chose to get the PC version. And I, I need to tell you guys a, a little bit of a backstory. By the way... If you guys actually watch the streams, you guys know some of it. Um, I've been stuck in Brazil for a little while because of the whole Black Plague going on in the world, right? Um, and one thing that is really hard that I found out, to so get like a new CPU from the United States, Brazil has this whole tax thing where I would have to pay 100% taxes on anything I get from outside. Plus, shipping, handling, international, all that stuff. So, pretty much, like, even if I was going to get, like, some cheap CPU for, like, 100 bucks, I would have to pay 200 plus shipping and handling, 250 for something that is worth 100 bucks. So, but then I realized one thing. A lot of people go through that. Like, people in Brazil and a lot of countries, you buy a computer. It's a big commitment. I mean, those guys, like, their salary is like $300 a month, okay? So you buy a computer, knowing that you're paying like 100% tax, even if you're buying the country. Everything is priced like at least twice the price. So you're paying twice that price. Imagine, even if you buy a base computer that you would pay like 500 bucks, you're paying $1,000. That's like three to four months salary on those people, right? So, when you buy a computer, you're not just changing that next year because, well, it's not running the latest AAA title, right? But should you? Should you be able to actually play those games? Yes, you should. All right? And that's why I'm doing the whole Can I Run It? All right, so, finally, we're going to talk about Cyberpunk 2077, and if you guys skip to it, you know you're going to probably 
you you were punished with some advertisement. That's fine. That's on you, not on me. You know, you decide to do that. I need to make money. I pay I pay more money to make YouTube videos than actually I make anything. Okay? And I know I should have jumped right back into Cyberpunk 2077. Now, the thing is, Cyberpunk 2077 has been having a hard time with the launch. Now, I'm here to talk about the PC side, okay? I know consoles are having hell right now. But I bought for PC, not for my Xbox One. So if I'm not playing on Xbox One, I really don't feel I should uh, talk about it because I have no idea what's going on. I, I can't actually test the system and go, hey, people, you're just stupid. You're doing something wrong. All right. Now, PC. Love the guys who actually participate on the stream because they let me know the systems they're running. A lot of people end up buying the game because they saw I could run. And I actually got some great replies today of people that actually bought the game. They start running and they're able to run on Ultra 1080p with systems way below the minimum requirements. And that's kind of weird, right? Because some people with Ryzen chips and really high-end GPUs are not able to run the game. I mean, they put an Ultra and this thing doesn't run. They have like horrible frames per second. So in my mind, my streams were a success. Because I showed what I could do. I, I tested, and if people felt comfortable, they actually bought, and they actually ran. They adjusted the system to, if they had a 6300 instead of a 4300, and they're able to do much better than I did. And that's what I'm here to do, okay? Now, we have a lot of issues. Well, uh, the issue is not just people with even like high-end systems not be able to run the game. The other issue is game journalists. Uh, if you guys are part of the stream, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Now, we had some weird thing where some game journalists gave like a hundred, right? A hundred score. And you had others that gave like 70. <laughs> game slot. Um, but... For some reason, like people that gave, gave like 70 game spot, um, they didn't play the game. I mean, I mean, okay, they played the game, but they didn't try anything besides go that way, go that way, do this. Do you guys know you can just get a card that is available? Oh no, I just stuck with that and uh. Yeah, I didn't even put, like, new clothes on. I just stuck with everything I had. Your blood is stupid. Now, I love what Jeremy from the Quarrying said, that, you know, you should not reveal this game if you're really into Cyberpunk. Because it doesn't matter what issues you have, you'll give 100 you also should not reveal this game if you don't like RPGs. Because things like, you know, new clothes, like upgrading your character, all that stuff, that's what RPGs are, okay? And if you don't like to do that, what is one of the main things in the game, you should not reveal it. I mean, trust me, I probably have one graphic novel. The dog of the infidels is barking, okay? I'm sorry. Anyway, like, let me just keep going. I'm on a row, you know? I'm going. My PTSD is not kicking in. I can do it. All right, so. No, I can't. I'm kidding. <laughs> you shut up. All right, so. You shouldn't do that because or you're too invested or you're not invested at all in the game. Like for me, honestly, I bought the game because I did want to support uh, CD Projekt Red. I think they put a lot of work in this game. Um, 
I mentioned that a lot in the streaming. And and okay, so so let me just hit a couple of things I mentioned streaming. One of them is you guys can be playing with pretty much like a potato, like the beast in here. You guys can't see, but my 4300. Okay, you run with a potato, and even when you get like 15 frames per second drops, honestly, in the stream, if I wasn't actually showing on the left side of the screen how many frames per second I had, you wouldn't be able to tell. And, and that's one thing, like usually when you have frame drops in games, right, you feel it gives some dithering. It, it just feels that weird thing. Like somehow, I think they expected that. So whatever they did, you actually have a fluid motion. You actually cannot tell it lower, unless it lowers like less than 10, what I felt like two or three times out of uh, seven hours gameplay. So it's not too bad, okay? Um, in the most way, when you look at me run FX 4300, I did overclock to 4.7 gigahertz. Um, I do have 12, megabyte, uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM. I do have a, a GTX 1650 Super, what is four gigabytes. Now, why am I enhanced that four gigabytes of GPU memory? Because a lot of people, even with higher processors, right, and run like uh, some graphics card with three gigabytes, they can barely run the game. So that pretty much tells you that the game drains a lot more from the GPU than the CPU. Okay, so as long as you have a good balance, you can probably run the game. Um, a lot of people being very happy, uh, they made me know on the comments that after they download the game, they're able to get like some really high frame rate. And I'm talking about guys that their system may have like two extra cores compared to mine. I have four cores. So six cores is still way below the, the FX 8350. And they're able to run. But somehow, Ryzen is having a hard time. So that's a win for the little guy, right? I think so. Now, I know there's a lot of people still need to go on the game. Uh, a lot of people been complaining. Going back to what I was saying about game journalists, um, a lot of people are mad because CD Projekt Red gave to some streamers like cool jackets, you know, like a whole package for the game and even early access for them to be able to test the game. Like they couldn't post it, but they got the game early and they didn't. So a lot of them actually gave low scores and you can see on the internet and complain. It's not about bugs. It's about Oh, I hate this game. This game is horrible. All that stuff. The game is not. You guys follow the stream? The game is beautiful. I mean, I was able to run... Uh, someone gave me the, the idea to run at 720. And that's something I want to, you know, hit again. I'm sorry if I'm jumping around. It's just... It's a lot of stuff I'm trying to almost do, like, in one sitting. That, that, that recording. Without scripts. <laughs> but anyway, um, so one of the things is at 720p, I'm running on Ultra. And to be honest, 720p on Ultra looks a lot better than 1080p on low. The other thing is I'm hitting around 30 frames per second. Yes, I have drops to 20 when on 1080p low, I was running 30, barely, and dropping to 10. So, you, you really got to play with those things. One other thing that I felt that it was actually affecting my system. Uh, not as much being heavy on the system, but was affecting the look. And it was film grain. So, I love film grain. Um, almost every single game 
has film grain nowadays, okay? But I like the games that allow you to choose how much film grain you have in the game. Now, this game doesn't have that. So I would say disable that. I like the image better without it, okay? Now, talking about tissues, there's a lot of tissues. Um, one of them I felt is, so on this screen, that's my 1080p screen, right? I downsized that to 720. And I'll be honest, the image looks like garbage. Now, I decided to try something else. I decided to run at my 768p screen, what is my secondary screen? And it's run good. So I decided to downsize that, downscale that to 720. And I was crazy in the moment and I threw ultra. And guess what? It ran beautifully. Okay? So 720p, and I'm going to show you guys the screen so you have an idea. Um, it actually ran better. It gave me way higher frame rate. It looked more beautiful than 1080 on low. So it's something you guys need to play around. Now, this screen may have some issues because it is a 3D uh, screen. So maybe when it, you know, downscaled, it didn't come out as I would want. It looked like a lot of aberration, a lot of issues really not playable and I actually on the first stream I actually tried that I said that's unplayable don't try I changed that later on my last stream when I actually ran on the other screen and it looked really good so but it's trying now if you guys have a low-end system I can vouch for anything over 40 FX 4300 using I would say any graphics card or most of them that have at least four gigabytes of memory, you should be able to run. The game will run smooth. Don't worry so much about frame rate. You will not notice most of the drops. You may have like every couple of hours a drop for to like really low frame rate that will last like a second. If you guys like RPG, it's not a big deal. Okay, and by the way, if you guys have any questions, anything, if you want me to look up your system, like I said, I did overclocked 4.7. The way I overclocked 4.7, I set up to 4.7 and I added 0 0.09, okay, volts to the CPU, and that seems to have been perfect. Uh, I'm running stable. I upped a little bit the GPU, not that much. Um, you guys can do that. So you, you can use anything like Afterburner. I just wouldn't try to go too far because it makes the system unstable. Um, you don't need to know much what you're doing to a point. Just up a little bit. Okay. Now, the other thing is I'll be doing this type of videos. I have a few ideas. Uh, someone asked me to do Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I'm probably going to be working that next. I did like what I did this last day. What was actually do streaming uh, of the game and trying to work the issues. And like now, for example, I give the download of how things work and what you can do with the system. And I think mostly for that because it's much easier for me when I'm going live for people to ask me questions and if they want me to test something that sometimes I may forget to test if I'm just doing myself. And it, it, it does boost me up, you know, to have this engagement with you guys. So let me know in the comments. I know it's like, oh, he's asking us to comment. Yes, I am asking you guys to comment. But let me know in the comments if you guys really think it's the best way. Like I do like one day of like streaming, even if that's just one streaming. Okay, so you guys can go in, discuss with me things that you found, uh, experience you found running sometimes the same game or something like that, and I can test things. That will help me to be able to help other people, to help you guys, so just let me know. Now, I, you know, I have to ask, if you guys haven't subscribed, 
would be awesome if you guys did, okay? Um, give me a like, leave me a comment. If you guys didn't like the video, hey, hit the dislike button, that's fine. But if you do, let me know why, because I cannot better myself if I don't know what's going on, okay? Now, thank you very much for watching. Most of you guys got to this point of the video. You guys are legends. And as I always say, for the guys who know my channel for a while, I'll see you in the game.